Hey friends, it's Lisa. So I am here today at Cherrycrest Farm, which is located in Paradise, Pennsylvania, which is in the Lancaster County area. And I'm gonna go do a Courtney's. So this is my dad. Are you excited to go amazing? Every year I'm excited about this. Yeah, this is a uh, tradition. But I highly recommend this place. I mean, they have people come from all over the world. This was one of the first of the uh, the corn mazes. And every year this place just gets bigger and bigger in terms of attractions. It just started out with a corn maze and then there was rides and the petting zoo, so. Now, being a Friday and being early, you don't see the crowd, Oops. so we're lucky, but. Coming down here on a Saturday is going to be a lot of people, but it is a great experience. Yeah. All the different previous ones we've done. Oh, there's some more over there, too. We've done almost all of them. The restroom's around. successful tools for doing a maze, wearing proper shoes, and I'm rocking a fanny pack so that my hands are free. I wonder if I can do this straw bale logic maze or will it be actually hard? I mean, I'm kind of tall, an adult, so I don't know if this was meant for me, but. I'm gonna say. I guess this was me cheating because I am an adult <laughs> and I could kind of see. But the actual maze is not going to be that easy. Oh, and there's my father. He's lost already. Okay. You can leave. All right, so we're starting the corn maze. We just learned that it was Charlotte Webb, Charlotte's Webb theme. And because my dad's crazy. He asked if we could skip the introductory meeting because he's go, 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 go. No, 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 no. It's All the time. we've been here for like 10, 15 years. Yeah. There's water if you want it. So they, it's really cool. Like they'll have like water stations and random porta potties and then little games and stuff. Um, I didn't even think so, no, what about it? I just want to state that my dad's a fucking psycho. Um, and so, <laughs> there may be a fight between us by the end of the time that we do this, so. Um, yeah! So basically, of course, there's the maze that's in the corn. But what they do, at least at this one, is that they'll have colored ribbon and that the ribbon signifies which part of the maze that you are located in. You see them coming down? Yeah. We were trying to figure out, there's like, no, it's a bad example. There's like stuff all over the leaves and I think it's from the top of the stalks. But basically my dad has in his hand the map that we have to build, we find puzzle pieces throughout the maze. They're like in these little mailbox things. So see, this is white and this is green. So we're now we're going into a different part of the maze. Oh, look, look, look. So, yay, we found a mailbox. Basically, they have the puzzle piece inside and they give you tape. So, also too, 
It oh, corresponds. So this is number three, which is for ATR. And my dad doesn't like to do like the true challenge. He like, you know, he wants to rush through, which no, is No, I, I am, you are leading the well, way. Well, no, like the true challenge is also doing like the crossword puzzle and stuff too. You don't wow. do any of that. I mean, and I don't know if you can hear um, in the distance, there's the old tiny Stroudsburg Railroad that is coming through and it's a coal engine. So we reached like the back middle of the um, maze and they always have like this cafe place so you can get food and stuff. And I think there's porta potties around here too. Oh, and there's the train. Bye train. And there goes the train. And you can buy tickets and ride in those cars. And I know they have like themed things like Thomas the Tank and Easter Bunny and stuff like that for the kids. And you just take a ride. Very cool. I'm observing my dad in his natural habitat. Was there a puzzle piece? I think it's carnal knowledge. Oh, okay. So I'll let you on. My dad in everything he does in life, he can't stand being behind slow people. And I can just see it in his face in the maze because he's like trapped behind slow people. So, so far we have boxes three and somehow we walked all the way to 12 and now we have 13. And the ribbons around us are green and just green. <laughs> and green is background. We're using the intermediate challenge. Okay. Ready? Okay. Um, we had asked in the beginning, well actually my dad asked, what's the temperature like? And I expected him to say that it was gonna be cooler. And the guy was like, no, it's 10 degrees hotter in the maze. So he's like, expect it to be about 90 degrees. I'm feeling the 90, are you? Yeah, because um, we're not feeling here. Uh, 13 down. Um, what's the answer? Oh, 50. Oh, you can't write and have a camera in my hand at the same right. time. Which, where is 13 down, which one? Um, it's a tag team effort. 13 down's right here. Okay. It's the, 50 is the word. But yeah, it's, it's really warm in here. It's so hot. So, oh God. All right. We're gonna stay to our left. I think the pink is for the pig. And unfortunately, there's also like no, there's no breeze in this maze. The corn's stopping the breeze. The stopping the breeze. The sun you is bearing down. Top. In fact, if you look at the top, there's a breeze. Um, you have to be legitimately into corn mazes to want to come out in a 90 degree day where there's no breeze and get lost in the sun. <laughs> and I am up for that challenge. All right. And uh, cool, let's keep going. So we have now been at this playground like five times and we, we like walked past and we had this thing going where we kept going left and left and left. We just keep coming back to the same spot. I feel like walking this maze is similar to being on a cruise ship. You just keep bumping into the same people. Oops. We've seen the same families like multiple times. <laughs> and we're all just have this like bewildered look on our face. Like where do we go? <gasps> what? Oh my God. Woo. Wow. I did not expect that. Yay. I navigated this. I navigated this bitch. So here is all of the, um, 
mazes since they started in 1996, which is the first year we came and we did it. Um, pretty cool stuff though. And then we got the blue pieces and the black pieces are the ones we finished uh, when we were done. And it took us uh, 38 minutes to get through the maze on the intermediate challenge. Okay. And now we're gonna go eat lunch at the Victory Brew Club, or Brew Pub at Victory Brewing. Dad got eggplant <laughs> Nesca. And I got a veggie burger, yum. So we're here at Victory. We're doing the uh, self-guided tour now that we've eaten our dinner or our lunch. I'm sorry. So the Victory hot snack. Oh, smell that. Well, that. It's what hop smells like. Yeah, it's it's um yeah. Oh, cool. You guys putting hops. Very cool. Almost looks like wood, you know? Yeah. I think the better the I think so. That guy that was in the brew house was outside earlier and he was very angry about something when we got here. Malt handling. Thing is like picking them up. Just watch the 
Oh yeah, it's for washers. Like here comes a keg. It's crazy how automated it is. It's like very cool.